Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome back to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast. For those of you who don't know, I'm your host, Kayla, and I am so excited that you have found my platform. In today's episode, I just want to remind you that there is so much time and so much potential left in 2024. Like I, for one, am mind blown that it's already March. Anybody else feel like January and February literally just blew by? Thankfully, I feel like I gained a lot of traction and I had a lot of growth. But if you don't feel that way, I don't want you to be dismayed and to just give up and be like, oh, I'll just try again next year. Because we are literally in the last month of Q1, meaning that there is still so much time for you to see genuine change, genuine results, and a true transformation, you just need to get started. In other words, I'm not saying that there's time, so kick your feet back. I'm saying there is time, lace your boots up, and let's go. Let's go. And I I feel like sometimes people look at me and they're like, that's easy for you to say. You do this stuff all the time. I wasn't always that way. I was not unbecoming all the things that I was not, truly walking in my authenticity, embracing my personal power, that took time. It took space. It took commitment. It took grit. It took a lot of tears. I burned bridges and turned my life upside down to become the person I am today. And I'm not saying that it's easy, but I'm telling you, sis, that it's worth it. Are you ready to master your emotions? Are you ready to plan goals strategically? Are you ready to change careers? Are you ready to go back to school? Are you ready to start standing in your personal power to have those boundaries, to stop people pleasing, to be the main character of your life? I've spent a lot of time really anchoring down on that main character stuff where you decide the narrative. You decide the storyline. You decide how long people's chapters are going to be or if we're going to edit somebody out or if we're not going down that way anymore. I love you. I want the best for you. I can be your biggest cheerleader, your mentor. I can be that person to hold you accountable to get to the next level. And I want to tell you, it's okay to be scared. It took me over a year to spend $7 with my mentor. And once I started, I never looked back. And I am so grateful for that faith, for that realization that I am not a gamble. I am an investment and I'm worth the time that it takes. I'm worth the money that it takes. I am worth the deeper moment, that step back to really think about what I want and then develop a true execution plan so that I can be successful. And you're worth it too. I love you. I can't wait to serve and support you. And I want you to know if you need me, reach out. We can jump on a call, DM coach, and we can just talk about what we need to do to get you to the next level. There is still time. I still have hope for you. I am still cheering for you. And I still can't wait to see your transformation. Let's talk in the next one, sis. Bye. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we, girl, will talk in the next one.